managing director of the electricity company of Ghana, Samo Dubik Mahama, has denied claims that Dumso has resurfaced under the President Ekufado administration. Regular power outages in certain areas have sparked debates about whether or not the persistent and irregular power outages, popularly known as Dumso, which was high during former President Mahama's tenure, is recurring under the current administration. However, in an interview with the media on Monday, February 5, 2024, Mr. Mahama asserted that there is no doom so in Ghana. He explained that the power outages being experienced are due to localized faults within specific areas and hence cannot be classified as doom so. <music> The Cameroonian government has raised fuel prices by 15%, citing the necessity to absorb the country's rising fiscal restrictions and minimize conflicts in the supply of petroleum products to the Cameroonian market. Petrol prices have risen from 1.21 US dollars to 1.39 US dollars per liter, while diesel prices have risen from 1.19 dollars to 1.37 US dollars. Meanwhile, as part of measures to accompany the price increases, government officials' basic salaries are expected to rise by 5%, whereas various taxes and customs fees in the road transport industry would be decreased. Cameroon had already raised four prices by more than 10% in January 2023. <music> Germany's government has agreed to fund hydrogen-ready gas power plants to supplement wind and solar energy supplies, according to the Economics Ministry on Monday, February 5, 2024. Four plants with a combined capacity of 10 gigawatts, financed by the Climate and Transformation Fund, are to be tendered in the near future. However, no precise date has been announced. The country wants to transition totally to hydrogen between 2035 and 2040. Additionally, the government intends to support 500 megawatts hydrogen fuel power plants for energy research. Since 2017, around 2.5 gigawatts of gas capacity has been installed, while the final nuclear power plant was shut down in 2023, following the country's decision to phase down nuclear in 2012. Visit EnergyGhanaMagazine.com for more on these stories. Energy Brief is proudly brought to you by Airport View Hotel. Energy Ghana TV. Local in focus, global in perspective.